Welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean. Spend a little time with Paula as she talks to her fans, makes some great dishes, helps with cooking problems, and she even gives some useful tips on how to make cooking easier and a whole lot more fun. Join us each week for What's Cooking with Paula Dean. If you have any questions or would like to talk to Paula, please send an email to podcast at pauladean.com. Now, let's join Paula and see what's cooking today. Hey, y'all. Welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean. And I tell you what, all my cooking just lately is going on in my air fryer. And if you're not, my air fryer is not in stores, so y'all, it can only be found at Evine. Uh, which Evine is a shop at home network. You can go to evine.com uh, to find my air fryer. And it's great. I, w I would put it up against any of them. But I always highly recommend that you do your homework, check, it, check them all out. And I'd put my money on this one every time, hands down. But anyway, so I'm using my air fryer a lot, and especially now that it's getting hot, I don't want to turn on the stove, but my family still likes their baked desserts. So I'm going to do a little cheating, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to share with y'all today how I'm cheating. Now, I never buy stuff like this. It's like it, uh, once a blue moon is how often I buy this. Uh, this is a uh, cinnamon roll, and they say it's made with real cinnamon, which is encouraging. <laughs> uh, these cans scare me, because, <laughs> you know, they can pop on you and almost make me wet my britches when I'm not expecting that pop to pop. One time it did that on Michael, and he jumped. It scared him. He he, he didn't want to admit that it scared him, but I know it scared him. All right. So, and something else about this type of thing. Uh, I think about a lot. Um, my grandmother, Paul, was ecstatic when they came out with canned biscuits. And I was out at her house one day. And I don't know, she may have been making a blackberry cobbler because she liked using these biscuits on top of it, on top of the cobbler. But I can see her right now, y'all. She was standing up there, wrapping that thing on her counter. And she looked at me, she said, I was so damn glad when they invented these canned biscuits. So my grandmother truly, truly loved them. Uh, and I'm so thankful that didn't explode on me. So in the cinnamon roll, it comes with a little can of icing. If it's not enough icing for you, all it is is a little powdered sugar and a little milk or even use water. Uh, and it'll be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate our cinnamon rolls and we're just going to flatten them. And then I'm just going to turn them into sticks, like tight sticks. You know, it's a cinnamon roll just in a little different shape, y'all. So tight, 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 tight. All right. And I'm just going to lay them in the air fryer. <laughs> This is, this is the trick of all tricks. <laughs> this is really cheating. This is cheating big time, y'all. That's all right. Some days we have to cheat <laughs> to make it through. All right, come on. Tight, 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 tight. You don't have to tell your friends that you do it. So you <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. You don't have to share this recipe with your friends. <laughs> Let them just wonder how you did it. Uh, but speaking of how you do it, you know your children would have a good time doing this with you. So 
here we go. It actually says to flatten them. Flatten them like that. And then I guess you just start twisting. I think either way will work. It just said to twist them. Make sure you twist them tight. And we're going to air fry these. in the air fryer for about four minutes. And then we'll turn them over and cook them for like another three minutes. Uh, since I've developed my air fryer, Jack and I, my, Jack's my oldest grandson, and he and I enjoy getting in here and cooking with the air fryer. He loves making desserts in this air fryer using puff pastry because it bakes up so beautifully. And uh, so he'll get in here and he'll say, okay, Guinea, now what can we put in our baked good this time? All right, so I'm going to take that now and I'm going to spray it just like a kiss, just like a kiss. That'll help it brown. So I'm gonna cook it for four minutes. Let me make sure it's plugged in. <laughs> that always helps. Electricity works real good. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on to about four minutes. And let's see, it tells me to cook this at Three fifty. So that would be three fifty. And the kind of uh, knobs I designed for this air fryer, y'all, I love because as as we start getting older, that old Arthur, he's one of the worst Ritus boys. But those Ritus boys will come a visiting. And like I said, I dislike Arthur probably the most. So when Arthur Ritus visits visits you and shows up the this is this is so easy to move about you know and this is easy to move about so you know we have to think about things like that because father time <laughs> and if you're like me you've been blessed to be here for a while which is wonderful so, like I said, we're going to cook these for four minutes on 350. I'll turn them over and give them another little kiss of oil and cook them for three more minutes. So I'm going to take a quick break, and when we come back, they'll be ready. And I've got uh, sugar and cinnamon that I'm going to toss on them. Look, that was a quick four minutes, wasn't it? That was so quick. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm just going to turn them with my fingers. And you know what? I, ouch! <laughs> this gets hot quick. All right. So there we go. I'm not even going to spray it. I'm not even going to kiss it with a little drop of oil. So I'm going to take a quick break, though. When we come back, they'll be ready, and I'll show you how I'm going to finish them off. And then I've got one more tip for you, what you can do with these cinnamon rolls, <laughs> and it's good. <laughs> the space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300.
Okay, y'all, you probably noticed that I've changed clothes. Well, I've got a photo shoot at uh, our stadium here, the home of, we're home of the Savannah Bananas. And I got a photo shoot, so I had to get ready for that while our cinnamon sticks were cooking. And they have cooked. And now we're just gonna sprinkle them with the sugar and the cinnamon. Yum, just like that, and flip them over. And do the other side. So it's just a little different shape. Just a little different shape. Okay. There we go, and then all we're gonna do is drizzle them <laughs> with our cream. And like I said, this comes in the in the packet of your cinnamon rolls. And it probably wouldn't hurt for me to pop that in the microwave for just a second to soften it up. But since I'm in a hurry, <laughs> I know that y'all are going to pick up what I'm putting down. That you will completely understand what I'm doing. Come on. There you go. Mm -mm. Oh, so I said I wanted to share with y'all something else that my niece, Kari, turned me on to. And let me tell you something, it is ever more good, y'all. Uh, if you have a waffle iron, I feel like everybody's got a waffle iron. And you know, your waffle iron is actually in four sections. Well, heat up your, your waffle iron and then put this on one section, this on one section, this one on one section, just like that. Put your... Um, top down on it, and you're going to have one heck of a good cinnamon roll waffle. <laughs> waffle, waffle. <laughs> so just that simple. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't care what shape it's rolled into. <laughs> you can't beat a cinnamon roll. Bye. Join us each week for What's Cooking with Paula Dean. Spend a little time with Paula as she talks to her fans, makes some great dishes, helps with cooking problems, and she even gives some useful tips on how to make cooking easier and a whole lot more fun. If you have any questions or would like to talk to Paula, please send an email to podcast at pauladean.com. Join Paula and see what's cooking today.